well this is something. Our barn caught fire. And if I had not seen that, I mean, I randomly walked out here, I was about to record after midnight, randomly walked out here and smelled smoke. And then noticed that there was a fire in here. Hey, stay, stay out of it, buddy. I don't want you to smell that smoke. And it is right there. I came down that wall. That wall was on fire. I mean, if I hadn't caught this, this whole barn would be have, would have been gone. Don't know, it's too early to tell if it was like a lacquer rag or electrical fire. I do have a couple electrical outlets that burned up. Don't come in here. What? Don't come in here. done with this barn it's just like three or five yeah but I think that smoke might have damaged other things because it was completely closed off I was gonna call I called a couple firefighter buddies who didn't answer but then as I was like running trying to figure out what to do I was gonna call 911 but then I was like by the time they get here this is gonna be bad so I'm just gonna deal with it so I got <laughs> Lincoln had Buckets of water. I came over, hooked this hose that we didn't have a hose here. But I got the garden hose. So we got a garden hose that didn't quite get here. But so I, I had another hose. So I filled that bucket with the garden hose. I filled that bucket and then I. This is such a nightmare. That was the weed bucket, so I didn't pour it out. I'm telling y'all, I can't say this enough. I mean, if you didn't go I there. walked out here. I was like, I'm gonna go check out the barn. I walked right over here and I smelled just a whiff, just a tiny whiff of smoke like a cigarette. Like it was like, felt like I, we never, we never put any fires. and I opened up that door and it was just, and I was just like, I, when I opened the door, I just thought, oh, we lost, we lost the barn. This is about to all go. How long did it catch fire? Electrical maybe? We don't know, but I do know that there's an electrical outlet in there that's burned up. So I killed no the break, electric. killed the there's breaker. Electricity in there? I killed all the power. Oh, the lights was on, but they just turned off. I killed it all. Oh, you did. I got the hose in here. I just sprayed it all down. Was there like fire or just fire? Oh, there was fire. It was fire. The wall was on fire. Yeah. I heard you yell at Lincoln, but I thought you said, "Where's Matt?" So I, I know. I, thought, did, I didn't think anything of it. I thought you said, "Where's Mavi?" But I forgot. I just forgot he was asleep. Yeah. I thought. I yeah, didn't hold know. This, he was... I, hold this. Hold this. I'm gonna go take that. I need to open these windows. Okay. Let me get the smoke out of here. Need a bandana? I'm gonna spray it some more here. Smoke's at least leaving a little. Look at all the smoke. <coughs> okay, I need to. Oh.
Ah, uh, <coughs> oh, hurt so bad. My lungs. Oh, it was so thick. The kitchen area is starting to. Should I go check the kitchen? It's it's not smoky anymore. No, do not go in there. It just cooks in there. Cooking, man. It's just hot. It was just smoking in there. Oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah it Oh, man, that's so painful. I wish these firefighters do it. I know. Well, they have like special masks. They have gear. You're wearing a t-shirt. They have like special masks. It's still just pouring out up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really hot. Okay, now we know we need a chimney. <laughs> what if somebody's living in here? Yeah, well, yeah. there was a problem. I mean, that's... This happens with new construction. There was an electrical short or something. Something happening. The electrical outlets are completely burned. There must have been a short. Can you tell Mama? No. Mama, look at that. It looks like it exploded, Daddy. Oh, look at this. What that stuff is. Can I come look? No, do not come in here. I can't say this enough. It looks like it exploded. Yeah, it does. Something happened. I don't know what. We've. I told Rick. It's, oh man. Yeah, something. No. Uh, what deer? We got the deer heads in here. They're just not doing good. They just all smoke out right now, probably. I don't know. Are we just gonna leave it or are we gonna? I don't know. I mean, we just gotta let it smoke out. Look at it just pouring out up there. Yeah, let's just let it smoke out. What if there's another one up there? It's, a good, up there. it's a good point. I might have to go out. I mean, that's smoking a lot. Go Maybe it's not out yet. Hold this, I'll go back in here. <laughs> That's like makes me sick just seeing it, you know, like smelling it and seeing it. Uh, I mean, guys, if I wasn't here, I, what if you were on tour? this would be a this would be a future parking lot. Okay, after uh, talking with Rick, my construction manager, we figured out what happened, and it's actually the best case scenario. Um, it wasn't electrical or anything. This, I think I can walk in here now. This was a bag, a trash bag, and by mistake, one of his guys who didn't know better left rags of lacquer wadded up in the trash. And it was laying right here in a plastic trash bag. That caught fire, started burning up the floor, uh, and caught, got to the wall. This is where I saw the flame, right here. It, I mean, I just can't, I cannot say enough how this could have been so much worse. Randomly, y'all, randomly I walked out here and just smelled just a, just a little bit. Like someone was smoking a cigarette back here. That's what I smelled. I was like, it's weird. Open up that door over there. And it was just, boom, it just hit me. Just It was all sealed, because this whole thing is sealed for painting right now. Man. There's no more smoke coming out of the window or anything. But yeah, just, hey guys, uh, lacquer. If you're ever painting or, or staining, rags cannot be wadded up and you have, to, you have to soak them in water. That's the deal. Or they will catch fire. Now Rick, I mean Rick's a dude, smart dude. 
He knows everything. He's been doing this for years. This is the first time he's ever seen it happen. And he always warns his guys, which he did this time too. I just talked to him. He's like, man, I warned those guys. But if you don't know, and if you're careless and you don't think about it, not it's nobody's fault, this is just an accident, but, but if you don't think about it, the unthinkable can happen. And this is a, man, maybe this video could show somebody, if anyone is ever doing this at home, we got extremely fortunate with this. So maybe this could help somebody watching the video. Like don't ever wad up your, your enamel or lacquer rags, oil-based rags. Don't ever do that. Soak them in water and then throw them away. <laughs> wow, Amber doesn't know. Amber's on her way home right now. She doesn't know. Ramon made it over here. <laughs> yes, sir. Not what he wanted to do on a Saturday. Gotta be done, though. <laughs> So I wanted to show everybody when we came in and, and uh, sprayed how close this fire was. Look at this. Here's a fire. And here's a lacquer. Perspective here. It's about uh, three fingers worth. And here's the, uh, the other stain. We're going to open up these walls here. Yeah, and I'm not dressed for the job either. No, <laughs> man, you just came straight from whatever you were doing during your Saturday. I appreciate you. I don't ever blame anybody for stuff like this. It's just lessons learned for everyone. It's like someone thought that the other person took out the trash and the, you know, Ramon usually uh, is the last one to walk through and make sure the other guys are cleaned up, but he came to Yee Yee Day. <laughs> I mean, it was like literally the perfect storm. Well, we got to get these walls off and see if there's any embers in here. Anything, Mr. Green, I'm piling everything up out there. Okay. I'm going to hose it down real good just to make sure. So, just giving you a heads up on that. Still holding up. Yeah. It's still warm in here. Crazy. Man, you worked so hard cutting that. <laughs> Making it. Yes, sir. Tacky. <laughs> oh, the glue's tacky. Yeah. Well, that is drywall there. I forgot that we had drywall on this side. Yes. We had OSB everywhere else, mm -hmm. which would have been bad. Yeah, well, everything happens for a reason, right? Yeah, it does. Sovereignty of God. Yeah, I believe that that drywall might have saved things from getting a lot worse. I bet you never thought you'd see that glue again. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that. The drywall just fell apart right there. It's probably where it probably got the hottest. Yeah, I can see. Right in there. Oh, I see the, uh, that's an outlet on the other side, too. See it? Melted that box and sat there. Yes, sir. I mean, that was so close. Look how close that is from just causing s worse things to happen. That was actually what I was trying to see because I was wondering if there was an outlet there. And 
Well, there is because, I mean, you kind of notice how the fire itself was like, that was probably the hottest point right there. Mm -hmm. So I'll show everybody here on my phone. I got a picture of, and this is, this was taken yesterday. And Rick sent me that so you could see there's the trash bag and you see the cardboard box right here. And that's right where I'm looking. So that was, I'm assuming in that bag were rags um, soaked in, in stain, enamel, lacquer. And then it's just one of those things where some guy thought he was gonna take it out and the other guy thought he, the other guy was gonna take it out. And it, how long has it been since they put that bag there? I mean, it's been 24 hours, over, almost 24 hours. And it took that long for that whatever chemical reaction to happen and ignite it's scary I, I hope people watching this video maybe something good could come out of it from people watching this video going oh i didn't know that i didn't know you you know i'm a hobbyist at home i didn't know you can't put rags together you know what i'm saying well, the, yeah the crazy thing about it is i think if uh since they were doing the stain yesterday yes i, I don't know but yes i would advise them to always put it in a bucket with water mm -hmm. you know don't know if that caused it or maybe something else, outlet, but we'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Yeah, obvious, yes, I mean, definitely. Come out this way, it's pretty solid, so it's hard to tell maybe from there, out here, because look at where it's just falling apart. I think what you're seeing is, this is my thought, because I burn I burn uh, cardboard all the time. Look at the picture here. So I'm okay. I'm thinking the reason it got so hot is because that's where these two cardboard boxes were. Mm -hmm. It's right there. And that box, what was in that box? Man, I don't know. Is it a light fixture or something? Oh, well, everything's in the trash bag, so I'll double check that here in a minute. But I bet you that's why this area got hot. Okay. It's because of that, that box was burning. And that cardboard burns super hot right at first. Let me go get a ladder so I can start taking off everything I can. Look what it did to the, to the ceiling. Look at those strange stripes. But that's from the smoke, right? Yeah, it's from the smoke. I'm telling you, man, when I came in here, it was thick. I mean, it was dark black. I walked in, I opened the door right here, and it was just the darkest black, pitch black you've ever seen. And the only light I saw was these lights right here, just barely coming through the smoke. It was so eerie, and they were kind of yellow. It was, it was very uh, demonic. It felt demonic. And it wasn't until I opened this door and saw the flame here. That's insane, man. We'll pull down the tin and uh, we'll go from there. So I was thinking originally what you see when there's like electrical fires, <clears throat> this right here, if they do it too tight, you'll start seeing like little burn marks on the wire. And so when we were talking about it being an electrical fire, I was like, well, maybe that's what it would have been. But once I saw that photo, man, it was kind of plain as day. So well, that's why I only took it off right here because everything from here on up was mainly just smoke damage surface, you know. Yeah. So once I took this off, that's why I said there wasn't any, anything structurally was damaged, so. But I'll be honest with you, from the heat, <laughs> made this come off easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought this was OSB. I right. forgot that this was drywall, yeah. and that saved the building. Probably. Was. I mean, well, the good thing is we did the poly fire seal like up at the top, and so like if it would have got inside of the wall, all that stuff would have expanded and slowed it down. But even then, considering it was all surface. Yeah.
good cleaner. Might be able to save it. If not, we'll see if you like white ceiling tiles. Yeah. Hmm. And this is just a dry rag, so. Ramon wanted me to tell everybody that this is the only time he's ever going to show up to work uh, with skin on his legs showing <laughs> and white tennis shoes. <laughs> it's two days in a row, right? But it is two days in a two row. Two days in a row. But it is a Saturday. Nobody was supposed to be working. <laughs> been right at 48 hours since the fire and the guys the workers are back here now this is the first day that they've seen it and been working on it and that kind of we formulated a plan of what to do where to go from here so I want to kind of catch up with them now and film that with you guys so we have this wall taken down here all the way up. The power turned off. Let's see what it did to these switches. The heat. And I caught it before we got to the studs, and so this is the only damage to the studs. I mean, we were close. <laughs> we were close, and then you can see this, this box on the feeding that other side how hot that got right there the fire started right here I wanted to show you like what it did to these lights what they're doing right now is just kind of cleaning everything so got all the paper up paper covering the the islands are up So guys, what's the plan? Just cooling off a little bit. Cool, man. cooling off from your uh, frog suit you guys are wearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the plan? We haven't uh, we haven't talked to the camera today. Took everything from inside, and set it up here, got all the paper up. Yeah. So uh, so Rick, Rick messaged me. I guess you guys too, but he said that they got that company, that fire company. Um, talked to them about cleaning the ducts. So you're gonna be able to clean all the ducks without ripping them out, which is kind of what you said this morning. And then you guys are gonna like brush. What do you? How are you gonna clean the ceiling and the walls? Do you know about that yet? That's I was gonna get with Rick on that. He's uh, I kind of got an idea, but you know I'd rather you know go with whatever he wants to do. I'm thinking soap, soap and water maybe. Yeah. You know, in the worst case scenario, maybe a light sanding. Don't know yeah. yet. Yeah, he said that a, uh, a smoke odor unit, we could do that three times max if needed, uh, clean all the air ducts. And then he said that, I wanted to read the note. He said, to the team, as you know, there was a fire in the barn on Saturday due to rags left in black bags on site. Uh, thankfully it was caught, but not soon enough. And uh, we sustained substantial damage. The soot Removal is our biggest hurdle. It's all over everything, ceiling and wall and ducts. We have Surf Pro coming out today and tomorrow to take a look. I'm waiting for them to verify. We also have a Puro Clean coming out tomorrow at 11. Uh, electrical is going to come out today, fix those wires, get it turned back on. He says Ramon knows not to run any fans. <laughs> Thankfully, repairs are minimal and we can clean the soot and duct work. Hopefully, get production started again quickly. Once we meet these companies, we'll determine the course of action. So, so basically all, all production's on hold right now. Based on info I found, he says we can remove the soot off the metal ceiling tiles with a paste mix of baking soda. I sent this info to Ramon so he could try it. That's but. just it. I don't have any service, so I try to open <laughs> it up and it just freezes up. Yeah, we got, so the wi there's no Wi-Fi out here, which we did have when the power was running. We're back to like square one, <laughs> no service again. We're back to the Stone Age, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's crazy, though. And 
I feel I feel like things are really good. I mean, right? It could have been really bad. It could have been real bad, yeah. So, I mean, the fact that we're even sitting here and we ha we're looking at a, the same barn, man, I just feel, I feel really good about the whole thing. Right. I mean, I look at look. It's going to be better than it ever was because now we put 200-year-old wood up in this barn, but but now every board's going to be cleaned and brushed thoroughly, thoroughly and scrubbed. So it's not only going to be 250-year-old wood; it's going to be clean. <laughs> like you could eat, you could eat a meal off of this wood. Ah, uh, you know, I'm a half full glass kind of guy, but I feel good about the whole thing. Did you guys see those deer heads in there? How there's like, it's, you see it singed on there? Isn't that wild, man? Yeah, that's a good story, man. It's a good story to tell. Be a good story to tell. Well, I feel like we are very, very fortunate. And I believe in a sovereign God, and I believe in everything is providential. And I tell you what, in this kind of scenario, I have a feeling because I've dealt with uh, so many brush fires in my life, the sheer heat from this barn going up would have started a chain reaction. If you think about it, there's a barn. Think about all these trees. Look at this. Trees, very close all around. Grass. I feel like uh, the sheer heat from this fire, if it was all to go, would have gotten to the house, would have gotten to the neighbors, would have gotten into the other barns, chicken coop, everything. And if that happened, and it starts running through these woods in Texas, and on a dry day like it was, with the heat, I don't know. I don't know where it would have stopped. I don't know where that fire would have been put out. So. what I think if anyone could watch this video and and first of all have some grace in the comments have some grace for um, mistakes that we all are capable of making and then and then also let's learn from this you know I looked it up on YouTube and these these accidents with uh, polyurethane rags Igniting like this, it's very common. If you look on YouTube, it's just full of people experimenting with polyurethane rags and wrapping them up, putting them in, you know, together in some kind of trash can, and they will ignite and start a fire in like six, seven, eight hours. So it's just extremely dangerous. Even if you're a hobbyist and you're cleaning your, or you're staining your cabinets or whatever, um, let's just pass the word around uh, the implications of what this could mean um so we praise god we still got a red barn <laughs> <laughs>